What the heck is going on in our real estate market today? Is it possible that the floor has fallen out or are we actually starting to see that crazy insane 2017 real estate market with multiple offers actually start to hit us again? So we're gonna to get to that in a minute. My name is George Moorhead with Bentley Properties. I'm practicing about 27 years. Uh, we've completed over 2,000 residential and commercial transactions. We've got some great metrics for you today. So if you would, make sure that you like our channel, share it with folks that you feel would find value with this. Hey, and subscribe. That way you will hear when our next video comes up because not only do we do them on Saturdays, but we also have special guests and those special guests are awesome because they come in with some really good information technical to their field. So with that, let's get the show on the road. So the question is, George, is our market on the way up or is it heading down? Well, here's the really amazing thing. Our market is absolutely doing amazing. And year over year, you still have a better chance with selling your home today than you did last year at this time. Now, isn't that amazing? Now, I can't mention a little virus that rhymes with a beer because I kind of got in trouble for that because, well, who knows? So anyway, we're gonna keep that one on the QT, but last year, we didn't do as good as we are this year. So let's look at why that's happening. So. When we take a look at the market, we take a look at year to date. Now again, remember, for consistency, we're gonna stick with residential only. We're not gonna include condos, residential only. Well, we can include condos later. Also, we're talking about the Northwest MLS. The Northwest MLS is actually from, you know, the Canadian border, Bellingham-ish, those areas all the way down to the Tri-Cities and in Wenatchee and Chelan, and which is a very broad area. So we're gonna get a very good, what we call a snapshot of a very broad area. Now, with that, sure, year to date, we're actually down basically a third on the total number of homes that are available, all right? And that's for sale. But when we talk about new coming on market, Right, so if you were to list your home today, you would qualify for new coming on market. Those are only down 14%. When we take a look at the pended, year over year, we're only down 10.6% and only 10.5% on the total number of homes that are sold. And you might say, okay, well, George, you know, 10%, that's not a big number, and I agree. So I did the math, it's, I just rounded down, it's 2,900 homes, year, to date. That's it. From Bellingham, Tri-Cities, parts of Eastern Washington. That's not that much. So understand our market year over year, even though we didn't have the beer issue last year, is doing amazingly well. Okay, so let's talk about month over month. You might say, George, well, you know, you always say we're looking in the rear view mirror. Yeah, we are when we took a look at sold because actives, news, and pended, that's a dynamic number, it's happening right now. But for a sold, remember, for something that sells today, they had to go under contract, whoop, a month ago, or 45 days ago. So we're always looking in the rear view mirror. So when we take a look at our numbers here, you might say, okay, so month over month, our active homes are actually up. Hmm, well, that's interesting. And on market, we're up 35.3% new homes coming on market. Last 24 hours, had to print this off. That's make it really big. Let's see if I can get this right. Look at that, there you go. New listings in the last 24 hours. Pierce King and Snohomish County, 340 new. Look at that, 355 pendings in the last 24 hours. 274 transactions closed yesterday. That was Friday. You think people are sitting and waiting for you? Uh, back on market was 38. We had 105 uh, price reductions, uh, 27 increased price, which are builders. We're going to talk about that today. Uh, 16 contingent. Those are amazing numbers. People are not sitting on the sideline. Why aren't they sitting on the sideline? Right here. 
30-year pricing, 3.125 for 30-year pricing right now. You know, we're, we're bobbling every, you know, up and down here, but, you know, within an eighth and a quarter. Uh, Non-owner occupied, 4%. New money. So understand, nationwide, mortgages, new purchase loans actually went up 6% alone last week. Week over week, I should say. Absolutely crazy, right? When we take a look at year over year, we're only down 1.5% nationally when we talk about mortgage purchase loans. That's a small number. That's absolutely amazing. However, what's really interesting is new construction pendant sales. No, well, you wait till we get to that number. That's a crazy, crazy number. All right. Now, new on market, 35.3%. But I covered this up. See, you can see my beautiful chart, my metrics that we use. Why? Because I didn't want you cheating. Why? Because look at this. Pendants. Pendants are up 58.8% month over month. If you remember two weeks ago, we were up 73.1. Two weeks ago. So the pendant sales are definitely going up. And you might say, George, what the heck is a pendant sale? Well, a pendant sale is where a buyer and seller agree to terms. Now, they still have their contingencies, financing contingency, building inspection, things like that. So it hasn't closed yet. It's pending a closing. But that's pretty amazing. And even month over month, 58.8% over month over month, right? That's pendant. That's a dynamic number. It goes with the active in the new market. But look at this. We're only 0.1% down month over month. That's crazy. That tells you very clearly our market has continued to move forward. We are still appreciating. Of the last eight homes that our clients went ahead and bid on this week, every single one of them had multiple offers. Every one. One had 15 offers. It was a $1.1 million house. 15 offers. Uh, Jeff Gerke on my team, he listed one of our clients' house, won $100,000 over list price. We didn't underprice it. There's just such a limited amount of inventory. Understand, we only have 1.7 months of inventory, and it's actually probably less than that now. It's probably 1.6. A healthy market is two to four months of inventory. We aren't even half, we aren't even, we're not even at the bottom. I mean, not two to four months, four to six months of inventory. We're not even half of what the bottom should be of a healthy market for inventory. So understand, not only do we have a limited inventory, not only do we have a massive pent up of buyers, but we have the perfect storm with interest rates because they are incredibly well priced. Now, are they gonna dip down even further? They're, they bobble every day. They are like the stock market. Your interest rates go up and down every day. If you are shopping, a interest rate. It was funny. I was talking with Dan Golden at Cornerstone uh, Lending. All right, get a load of this. We were looking at the rates of one day. So he quoted somebody in the morning, and then by the afternoon, the rate had actually dropped. And what was even funnier is somebody came to him and said, "Hey, you know, I know you quoted me this one, but hey, this person quoted me uh, this this price at like three o'clock in the afternoon." He's like, "Oh yeah, I can beat that. Uh, yeah, I quoted you in the morning." So understand, you, during the day, that rate is going to go up and down. So if you're shopping rate, if you're shopping lenders, make sure you're taking a snapshot of that point in time, date and time for consistency. If you get this teaser program or something that just seems, you know, wow, this is amazing, make sure you ask two questions. One, is there a buy down to get that rate? That's important because sometimes they will advertise these rates and you actually have to pay to get that rate, all right? But it is a teaser rate, it is available, you just have to have you know, funds to close to get it, right? Fair enough. The other part of that is, is it a unique program? And when I say is it a unique program, is it a temporary uh, you know, pocket program that has incredibly high standards and requirements so that they only get the best of the best of the best, okay? And everybody else does not qualify, but yet they still brought you in. Be very careful. So you need to ask those two questions, right? Okay. Now, I said we were going to take a look at new construction because new construction, well, there's no really better time. Why? Let's go over why. 
Going to use our magic whiteboard here. Our metrics for new construction. Here's the thing. When we take a look at the number of homes that are for sale, we're actually up 3%. So we have more homes today than we did month over month. Okay. New listings, new construction coming on market month over month is up 38.7. Builders now are able to finish. They're able to push that product out, which means they need to get homes sold. Pended, 61.6%. That's amazing. 61.6% month over month. That is a crazy, crazy number. Number of solds month over month are actually down 26.5. Huh? Not surprised. Then when we come over here, we go year to date, year over year. So not only are we down with inventory at 23.3, we're down with new listings year over year, and we're only down 2% on actual pended homes and only down 6.4% with the number of homes that actually have closed year over year. That's pretty awesome if you think about it. Now here's the thing. There are a lot of ways to absolutely capitalize on new construction. Here's the however. You actually have to know how to discuss and negotiate with the builders because, well, you know, just understand, the builders are not going to negotiate against themselves. They're not going to come up there and say, oh, hey, you know what? I'm willing to offer you these credits and this buy down, uh, but you know, I need to maintain this price, and, you know, but we could do all of these things for you. They're not going to tell you that. So if you just go in not knowing all of the how to discuss things with a, with a builder to get the best terms and options and benefits, um, you know, you're just, you're just leaving, you're leaving dollars on the table. Make sure that you talk to a real estate broker who deals with new construction. You can feel free to give us a call. No strings attached. We'll give you some great insights. And I'm not going to go over it on the video now, but I will tell you that our client versus his friend who bought in the same flat, he saved $15,000. Our client saved 40. You take it what it's worth. And uh, there's value in knowing how to discuss things with builders. Right now, builders need to get products sold because they've had standing inventory that they couldn't do anything with. There are ways to maximize, but you need to know what to ask, how to ask that question. All right, it's all part of that negotiation. Now, moving on, based on this, you can clearly see that our market has not stopped. We are moving forward. We have seen appreciation in roughly some areas. I've seen a 7% appreciation so far. I've seen three to 4% on average, depending on the areas. If you have any questions, give us a call. If you would like a market report for your area, give us a call, send us an email, whatever it is. We get gobs of questions all the time. Just let us know. We normally get back to you within about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Uh, and if you have anything, ask. In the meantime, understand, when you're getting a quote from a mortgage, Make sure that you're asking those two questions. Is, is there a buy down cost and is it a special program? Make sure you're asking that. Make sure you're tying into the timeline. If you're talking with builders, don't try and negotiate price, negotiate uh, additional benefits, buy downs, amenities, things like that. All right. My name is George Moorhead with Bentley Properties and I wanna thank you for coming. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you hear the next video. Oh, almost forgot. Got a shout out, one of our, uh, on a scale of one to 10, being a 10 plus plus uh, contractor, Nolan. Nolan just had a little baby girl, so Nolan, congratulations. And I wish you all the best. A little baby girl, huh? <laughs> Did you ever see Father of the Bride? I'm gonna send you that movie, Father of the Bride. <laughs> that would break my heart. Anyway, congratulations, I think it's awesome sauce. Uh, big hug to you and your family, the virtual one. In the meantime, I will catch you guys later. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.